it's never been a sad place. It's always been a place of hope and healing and and just family. It's an, after these years, it's it's family. Oh, it makes me feel like I've, I'm helping somebody in a small way. You know, I just think that for the grace of God, I could be in their place, and I want to treat them like I would hope they would treat me if the situation was reversed. As soon as I found out that there were volunteers here, that's what I wanted to do so that I could share the positive things because I know how scary it is. And so if I could help like one person not be so afraid when they start out their, their journey, that's, that's kind of what I wanted to do. Okay, I figured. I figured as much for you. Everybody else doing good? <laughs> Maybe like a year into my journey, I knew there was something more that I wanted to do with my life and uh, my purpose. And so therefore, I uh, thought about volunteering. And so as I was cleared by my doctor uh, to volunteer, I joined the Ambassador Hope program. I've sat in the chair. I know how it feels to sit in the chair. So I wanted to be able to give back to the people that were having chemo, that I had been there before and other people had loved on me in the process. Well, if you don't need anything, you have a good day. And if you do, just let me know. I'm Jolanda. That's hazelnut. The one thing you can do is give them your time listen to them. If they are upset, you just pet them and give them a hug and make them as comfortable as you can. And I say, don't put it off. If you feel like that's your calling to be a volunteer, go for it. Mm -hmm.